Hi everyone, welcome back to the new video of current affairs YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the most important current affairs questions and answers of the day, 8th May 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, you have two questions at the end of this video. So watch the video till the end and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that and you can download the PD file of this section of Telegram group and you can also join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, I will give the link in the description given below. You can check that and download the PDF. Okay, let's start the section. First question. When is the World Red Cross Day observed annually? Okay, the answer for the question is option D. 8th May. Okay, the World Red Cross Day is observed annually on 8th May. Okay, let's see about this day. The World Red Cross Day is also known as the Red Crescent Day is celebrated on May 8th every year. Okay, this date marks the birth anniversary of Henry Dunant. Who is the founder of the International Committee of the Red Cross that is ICRC and he is also a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize and he was born on May 8, 1828. Okay, you have to note on that the World Red Cross Day or Red Crescent Day is observed annually on May 8 and it also marks the birth anniversary of Henry Dunant. Okay, the day is celebrated by the Red Cross Society across, to, across all the countries and it works for the Welfare of people. World Red Cross Society provides for food shortage, natural disasters, war, wars, as well as diseases of an epidemic. Okay, the theme for 2021 World Red Cross Day is together we are unstoppable. Okay, in this first question, you have to note on about the World Red Cross Day. Okay, it is observed annually on May 8, and the theme for 2021 is together we are unstoppable. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay, let's see next question. Second question. The nation's first drive-in vaccination center was inaugurated in which of the following city? Okay, the answer for the question is option A, Mumbai. Okay, let's see the country's first drive-in vaccination center. The nation's first drive-in vaccination center was inaugurated by MP Rahul Shival in Mumbai. Okay, this center has been set up in the parking lot of Kohino Square Tower at Dadar. Okay, this first of its kind drive-in vaccination center Facility has been made available to the citizens at a time when people with disabilities are facing difficulties in getting to the vaccination center. And the center also provides transportation facilities to the citizens who do not have their own vehicles. And the vaccination center has been started and facility is available for all sections of society. Okay, in this question, you have to note that India's first drive-in vaccination center was inaugurated by MP Rahul Shival in Mumbai. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay. Before watching this full video, if you like this video, please click on the like button. Okay, this video like aim is only 100. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe our channel current office. And also enable the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, let's see next question. Kane Tanaka, the world's oldest person, belongs to which of the following nation? Okay, the answer for the question is option C. Japan. Okay, let's see about the world's oldest person. Ken Tanaka, a 118-year-old Japanese woman, is the world's oldest person. Okay, she was initially supposed to participate in the Olympic torch relay in Fukuoka in southern Japan on May 11, but has pulled out due to safety concerns amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, that's the recent news about the world's oldest person. Okay, let's see some points about Japan. Japan is an island country in the East Asia located in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. It is bordered on the west by Sea of Japan and extends from Sea of Okhotsk in the north towards the East China Sea and Taiwan in the south. Okay, the capital of Japan is Tokyo and the currency of Japan is Japanese yen and the Prime Minister of Japan is Yoshihide Suga. Okay, in this question you have to note about the world's oldest person. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. The world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge has been opened in which of the following country? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, Portugal. Okay, let's see about the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. Portugal's Institute for Research and Technological Development for Construction Energy, Environment and Sustainability has completed a 516 meter long pedestrian sus suspension bridge named 516 Aroca in northern Portugal. Okay, this is the world's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. Built in the Aroca Geopark, the 516 meter long bridge is suspended 
175 meters above the Paiwa River and links two hills with granite cliff faces. Okay, let's see some points about Portugal. Okay, Portugal, the capital of Portugal is Lisbon and the currency of Portugal is Euro. Okay, we can see here the map of Portugal here. Okay, okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see the next question. When is the World Thalassemia Day observed annually? Okay, the answer for the question is option B, 8th May. Okay, the World Thalassemia Day is observed annually on 8th May. Okay, let's see about this day. The World Thalassemia Day is celebrated on May 8th every year to commemorate thalassemia victims and to encourage those who struggle to live with the disease. Okay, thalassemia. Okay, let's see what is thalassemia. It is an inherited blood disorder that is characterized by less hemoglobin and less than Lesser than normal blood cells. A person suffering from thalassemia has at least one of the parents as a carrier of the disease. Okay. The theme for 2021 World Thalassemia Day is addressing health inequalities across the global thalassemia community. Okay. In this question, you have to note on about the World Thalassemia Day. Okay. It is observed annually on May 8th and theme for 2021 is addressing health inequalities across the global thalassemia community. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see next question. Raman Meenakshi Sundaram has been appointed as Director of the Indian Institute of Rice Research and am of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research that is ICAR. And here the question is, when was ICAR that is Indian Council of Agricultural Research founded? Okay, the answer for the question is option A. 1929 okay the indian council of agriculture research was founded in the year 1929 okay let's see about icr and also about this news raman meenakshi sundaram has been appointed as the director of the indian institute of rice research and am of the indian council of agriculture research prior to this elevation he was working as principal scientist biotechnology at the institute of crop improvement section okay let's see about icar okay the indian council of Agricultural Research is an autonomous body responsible for coordinating agricultural education and research in India. Okay, that's the main point about ICA and it reports to the Department of Agriculture Research and Education, Ministry of Agriculture and the Union Minister of Agriculture serve as its president. Okay, it was founded on 16 July 1929. Okay, that's about the Indian Council of Agriculture Research. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. Which organization has partnered with the government of India to launch vaccine finder tool in its mobile application? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, Facebook. Okay, let's see about the vaccine finder tool of Facebook. Facebook announced that it will begin rolling out vaccine finder tool on its mobile app in India. The tool has been developed in partnership with the government of India and will be available in 17 local languages. Okay, the tool will help people identify places nearby to get the vaccine and it will give vaccinated center locations and their hours of operation using data provided by the ministry of health and family welfare okay the tool will also show working options for 46 for 46 years and above and a link to register on the official covid vaccine portal covid to schedule once vaccination appointment okay, the tool is available in the COVID-19 information center on Facebook. Okay, you have to note that Facebook has partnered with the government of India to roll out the vaccine finder tool on its mobile application. And the tool is available in the COVID-19 information center on Facebook. Okay, let's see next point. The platform said that it is working with the UNICEF India to provide health resources to people about when to seek emergency care and how to manage mild covid 19 symptoms at home okay the information is accessible on facebook covid 19 information center and its news feed and on instagram the company is promoting this information via guides in the explore section okay recently the founder and the chief executive officer of facebook mark zuckerberg announced a 10 million dollar grant for emergency response effort in the light of the covid 19 situation in the country okay that's the answer for the question i think it's understood okay let's see next question depsang plains is a disputed area between india and which of the following country okay the answer for the question is option a china okay let's see about the depsang plains the depsang plains represent a high altitude gravity 
plain at the northwest portion of the disputed axis in region of Kashmir. It is divided into Indian and Chinese administrative portion across a line of actual country that is LIZ. Okay, Indian controls India controls the western portion of the plains as part of Ladakh, whereas the eastern portion is controlled by China and claimed by India. Okay, that's about Depsang Depth Sang Plain. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see the next question. Who has been appointed as the acting chairperson of the National Human Rights Commission, that is NHRC? Okay, the answer for the question is option B, PS Pan. Okay, PS Pan has been appointed as the acting chairperson of the NHRC. Okay, let's see about this and also about NHRC. Okay, the National Human Rights Commission member, Retired Justice Prahula Chandrapan, had been appointed as the acting chairperson of the commission with effect from April 25th. A former Supreme Court judge, Justice Pan, was appointed member of the NHRC on April 22nd, 2019. And the post of a chairperson has been vacant since Justice H.L. Dadu, a former Chief Justice of India, completed his tenure on December 2nd, 2020. Okay, that's about the appointment of the acting chairperson of the commission. NHRC. Okay, let's see about National Human Rights Commission of India. Okay, it was formed on 12th October 1993 and it is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, that's about the NHRC. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. What is the currency of Singapore? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, dollar. Okay, the currency of Singapore is Singapore dollar. Okay, let's see about Singapore. Singapore officially the Republic of Singapore is a sovereign island city state in maritime southeast asia it lies about one degree of altitude north of the equator of the southern tip of the malay peninsula bordering the straits of malacca to the worst rai islands to the south and the south china sea to the east okay the capital of singapore is singapore and the currency of singapore is singapore dollar okay in this question you are not on about the country singapore okay i think it's understood about the question and its answer okay if you have any doubts please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see the answer for the questions of last kind of his question is a video of 7th may 2021 okay let's see the answer for the first question dravid minutra karakam chief mk stalin has recently been elected as the chief minister of which state okay the answer for the question is Option D, Tamil Nadu. Okay, let's see about this. Dravid Minutra Kadakam Chief M.K. Stalin was zoning as the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu by Governor Banwari Lal Purohit at Braj Pavan in Chennai yesterday. Okay, Stalin's DMK won 133 seats in the recently held election for the 234 member assembly and the party contested the polls in alliance with some other regional parties and congress along with stalin 33 other ministers from his party also took the oath okay the names includes 19 former ministers and 15 new faces there are two women among the newly zoning ministers okay in this question you have to not on the draft that is dmk's chief mk stalin was zoning as the chief minister of tamil nadu and the governor of tamil nadu is banwari lal purohit okay that's the answer for the first question i think it's understood okay let's see the answer for the second question where is the headquarters of idbi bank located okay the answer for the question is option a mumbai okay the headquarters of idbi bank is located at mumbai okay let's see about this bank the industrial development bank of india that is idbi bank was established in the year 1964 by an act to provide credit and other financial facilities for the development of the fledgling, fledgling Indian industry. Okay, it is a development finance institution and a subsidiary of Life Insurance Corporation that is LIC. Okay, the currency of IDBI Bank is Rakesh Sharma and the headquarters of IDBI Bank is located at Mumbai. Okay, in this question, you are not a number of the IDBI Bank. It was established in the year 1964 and headquartered at Mumbai. And the CEO of IDBI Bank is Rakesh Sharma. Okay, that's the answer for second question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see today's questions for you. Okay, daily we are giving two questions that you can answer. And please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see the first question for you. When was the All India Chess Federation founded? Okay, the options for you option A 1951, option B 1963, option C 1965, and the option D. 1977 okay we'll repeat the first question one more time when was the all india chess federation founded okay please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that 
and if you are not a subscriber of this channel please don't forget to subscribe our channel current affairs okay let's see second question for you what is the theme of the 2021 international day of the midwife okay the options for you option a midwives with women celebrate demonstrate option b midwives mothers and families partners for life option c follow the data invest in midwives and the option d midwives leading the way with quality care okay we'll repeat the second question for one more time what is the theme of the 2021 international day of the midwives okay please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay in this video we have discussed about the important kind of questions and answers of the day 8th may 2021 okay i think it's understood about the section if you have any doubts related to any question and its answer please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that and you can download the pdf file of this section in our telegram group and you can also join our telegram group for more study materials okay we'll give the link in the description given below you can check that and download the pdf and if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel current affairs and also in the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Keep supporting us. See you tomorrow with a new video on current affairs and other state topics. Thank you. Bye-bye.